Ninja Kiwi, just drop 4.3 patch updates notes. Let's see what got buffed. Number 1, Dart Monkey Bottom Path. XX3, crossbow peers from 6 increased to 8. So now all the anti-stall dart strat can hit 2 additional ones. This is definitely good news for dart players. XX4, Sharpshooter, bolts now ricochet once after the first hit. Not only bottom path has increased peers, now it can bounce once, that further snowball the buff. XX5, Crossbow Master, crit damage from 50 to 100. That's 100% increase in damage, and it ricochet once. I think we definitely see more of Crossbow Master in play. Number 2, Monkey Sub Bottom Path. XX4, Armor Piercing Darts increase from plus 2 damage to plus 3 damage. Although it's just 1 damage increase, it is actually a 50% increase. With Sub Commander buff, this gives each XX4 sub additional 2 damage. Maybe we will see some late game substrat. Number 3, Monkey Buccaneer. 3XX. Destroyer price buffed from $2,700 to $2,200. With $500 price reduction, we may see more early game destroyer. XX2. Crow's Nest, all attacks deal plus 2 damage to camo balloons, including attacks from the 4XX and 5XX planes. With these top and bottom path buff, 3X2 Destroyer could be a viable and popular tower choice for camo defense. Top path faster shooting upgrade on Monkey Pirate, ability cooldown drop from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. It's a decent cooldown buff for Monkey Pirate. XX5. Trade Empire, Merchantman ships generate plus 5% to plus 10% income per round. Capped at 10 Merchantmen, which means, each Merchantman will generate $330 instead of $300 and Favor Trades will generate $1,320 instead of $1,200. Number 4, Mortar Monkey. Base Mortar now includes increased accuracy from XX1 as standard. XX1. Increased accuracy replaced with dynamic targeting, which costs $400 and allows the mortar to aim itself at the strongest balloon on screen or the area with the most densely packed balloons. XX2 Ernie stuff repriced to $500 from $700. Dynamic targeting definitely will improve some players' odds in winning with Mortar Monkey. Number 5, Ninja Monkey. X5X Grand Saboteur Price reduced from $25,000 to $20,000. That's a big $5,000 reduction. All X3X and above Ninja Monkeys in range, including the Grand Saboteur itself, gain plus 10 range and plus 2 MOAB damage. We may see more Ninja late game strat in action. Number 6, Spike Factory. 5XX. Super Mines. Price reduced from $110,000 to $90,000. An explosion pierce increased from 60 to 80. 18% reduction in price and 33% increase in pierce. Super mines could be viable as a late game damaging tower. Number 7, Biker Bones. Level 3, Concussive Shot now aims at densest area, not strongest blood. It has radius increased to 40 and pierce increased to 72. This skill revoke will make Biker Bones able to deal with blood spams but not on single target Moab. Number 8, ATN. Level 3, Drone Swarm Ability Cooldown Increased to 60 Seconds. Level 16, Drone Swarm Ability Cooldown Increased to 45 Seconds. Slight nerf on ATN Skill Cooldown, I think ATN is still a formidable hero in view of the ability to spy on opponent's money and blue scent. In a nutshell, I think the strategy that got buffed most is Buccaneer Alchemist Spike Factory. Thanks for watching. Do consider subscribe to this channel for more Battles 2 content.